Thanks for staying with us. Veterinarian David Graff joins us now to take your questions. That number's at the bottom of the screen if you've got a question today. And you brought Hollywood with you. I did. He's uh, from the Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control. He's a five-year-old neutered male. And as long as I rub him on the chin, he purrs really <laughs> loud. He's um, ava available for adoption. They have a special and th through next uh, through a, a, for the next week, uh -huh. uh, seventeen dollars plus a rabies vaccination. Hey, there so you it's go. It's a really good deal. Yeah, to welcome another um, animal into your home. Wonderful. He's loving that. We've got Chris on the line with our first question today. Go ahead, Chris. Hi, I'm calling about my cat that I adopted at Christmas. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if cats get separation anxiety like dogs do. Um, the first month I had her, um, I stayed home so, you know, we would bond. And now that I've gone back to work, every time I come back home, um, I get up to the top of the stairs at my apartment door, and I can hear her crying. Sure. And she, my, and she my is, cat, is at that door yep, crying. My cat greets me at the door every night when I come home. So uh, they're creatures of habit, and they're, they're social. And... Um, Sure, they can, uh, they can encounter problems because of environmental changes. Uh, unfortunately, the biggest problem is urinating on the floor. Mm. It's one of the, it, with, with changes in things at home. Right. Uh, uh, somebody going off to school, somebody moving in next door. Uh, a big one is a, is a new cat that's visiting outside the window. <laughs> that, that's a big one. So, yes, cat, cats can be very sub subject to... Uh, to behavioral changes Good because of environmental changes. All right, Marie is on the line with our next question. Go ahead. Yes, my dog, one eye, um, it looks like she might have poked herself in the eye or something. Ouch. And I was wondering, uh, could I put cold compresses on no. it or what no, to do for it? Have her looked at by your veterinarian because she could have a corneal ulcer. And corneal oh. ulcers, if they get infected with tiny amounts of bacteria, can, can melt down and become uh, threatening to the to the eye, mm -hmm. so have that looked at by your veterinarian. It's that's an important thing because a, a little poke to the eye can yeah. turn into it could could cause loss of the eye without proper care. And dogs can't tell us when there's something hurting them, that's and right. I need a little more attention than a cold compress. So make sure you get that checked out. And if you're interested in adopting Hollywood into your family, getting that special running through the next week at Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control, give them a phone call. The number there in the bottom of your screen, 286-5993. Dr. Graff, thanks so much for coming in today. Happy to be here. And coming up tomorrow, our financial expert will join us, and we'll have one more check of that first alert forecast coming up next. Stay with us.